Hello and welcome back to Run Level Zero. Sorry for my recent absence. I've been down for the last few days with the flu, but I am on my way back up and uh, wanted to bring this back to you. During my downtime, I was able to test drive a new distro added to Distro Watch on the 26th of October 2013. We're talking about the Big Chief Makulu Lennox. Uh, Makulu is brought to us out of South Africa based on Debian and boasts the 3.10 kernel. Let's see, it says it provides a sleek, smooth, and stable user experience that is able to run on any computer from old to new, from netbooks to notebooks, desktops, and server stations. Um, I've been driving Makulu now for about the last five days installed on my hardware and I've had a fairly good user experience with it. So let's take a look at what you get with Makulu Linux. Makulu, as I've already stated, is based on uh, Debian. You know what, I'm not really sure which one. Let's take a peek. If you're wondering what, which type of Debian your system is running, We're going to switch to super user right quick. Give it your password. And then we're just going to nano our sources.list. It's an Etsy apt sources.list. Ah, here we go. Looks like we're ba based on Debian testing. So you may run into a few bugs from time to time, but that's okay. They usually fix it pretty quick. Let's see what else we have in here. Uh, I'm going to show you a few things in this system. It is based, it does pull heavily from Linux Mint, and this shows you why. Solid K repos are installed. Skype and Opera repositories are installed. Although neither Skype nor Opera is installed by default, looks like it's available from the from the software center. Ah, remaster Sys multi-system. I added that had some issues installing multi-system on this on this installation though which is really no big deal for me and doesn't really mean much for testing uh, one of the things you'll notice right off the bat this distribution is has the XFCE desktop and it is set up in a classical uh, Windows ish layout with the one bar across the bottom and menu on the left the wallpapers that come pre-installed on this system all have the same hippopotamus theme, which most of them you'll see. Uh, some of them get kind of kind of goofy, a little tongue-in-cheek, but uh, yeah, all fits in with their. It's, it's a solid, cohesive theme throughout. The icon set is visually appealing but it's not really my cup of tea but it being based on Linux it's all easily customizable so no big deal there it's been a pretty solid stable system I haven't experienced any crashes um, yeah so let's take a look at what you get like I said before you get the one user bar it's across the bottom on the lower right hand side is the clock and calendar notification area wireless manager a nice uh, window applet is in, or weather applet rather is installed. So we've got a little medicine head going on here, but the weather app has been very nice. Um, let's see, you have your volume control. Open windows are of course in the middle. You have a quick launch area over on the left uh, for a Thunar file manager, Chromium, which is the default web browser. The terminal as well as your software manager. The software manager, update manager, and login manager are all borrowed from Linux Mint on this system. The menu, they've installed and configured the whisker menu for you. You have quick launch, or favorites rather, that are open by, by default, which is Thunar, Chromium, Terminal, Software Manager, you have Synaptic installed, which I like seeing both of those. You have a driver manager linked to your settings panel as well as your update manager. 
Now, I really like the installation and configuration of the Whisker menu. Whisker, in my opinion, is a giant leap forward for XFCE and really brings XFCE to the front. I've been a fan of XFCE for a long time, but with the addition of the Whisker menu, it really makes it more modern with, with a themable, searchable menu. So good on them for, for including uh, Whisker. Let's see, under accessories you get an application finder, a bulk re rename utility, calculator, catfish for file search, a clipboard manager. Conky manager is installed by default. Uh, that's really nice to see. They, they've they left it up to the user. Conky is not turned on initially, but through Conky manager you can uh, you have all these Conky themes that are pre-installed that you can you can turn on and configure to your liking. So that's really nice. Um, let's get back. Leaf pad is installed for your your text manager. Orage is installed. So you have a sensor viewer. Thunar is your file manager. There is a USB stick image writer and formatter, which I like both of those. The image writer is similar to UNet Booten, so you can install your ISO images to a thumb drive if you'd like. You do not get VirtualBox. I installed VirtualBox. I've been playing with that. Some con trying to replicate some errors that one of my viewers have been has been experiencing. Uh, Mr. Turner, I haven't forgotten you. I'm still working on that. Let's see under games. Uh, nice selection. Slim, not overboard. So you have chess, uh, Tetris clone, Simsu. Steam is installed on this by default, as is Wine. So that's really nice for them to do that. I also have Mahjong under graphics. Photox is installed as well as LibreOffice and Penta. Under internet, like we said Chromium is installed by default as your as your web browser. Deluge and Dropbox are installed as well as FlareGit. This is my first time with FlareGit. FlareGit is a uh, download manager supports multi-threading. So that's interesting. Uh, Mozilla Thunderbird is installed for your mail client. Mumble, NitroShare, and Pigeon are also installed. Under Multimedia, you get your audio mixer, Dead Beef, a FF multi converter for converting for converting your multimedia file formats. Uh, MiniTube is installed. Nero Linux and Nero Linux Express are installed for burning CDs and, and media. I haven't really played with this too much. It's nice to see something different installed. It's not been my favorite burner, but uh, it gets the job done. Radio Tray and VLC are installed, as well as Voco Screen came installed on this, which this is this episode is being recorded with Voco Screen, and I have to say I like it. It's slim, easy to use, is a common sense user interface. So give Voco Screen a try. Uh, it looks to be a relatively new Linux screencasting utility. Uh, under Office, we have LibreOffice installed, as well as Adobe Reader 9. Let's see, like I said before, Wine is already installed and configured for you, so you can try to get your Windows uh, software up and running. And under Settings, let's see, oh, get back to it. Under Settings, uh, you have your basic Linux uh, settings utilities. You can manage your login window which is MDM so it will support themes and the nice HTML5 themes that come pre-installed so it has everything that that comes pre-installed in Linux Mint already in there. So yeah that's pretty neat. Let's see nothing really special or stand out in the settings area. Just your run of the mill XFCE uh, settings manager. And under system you do get bleach bit installed. To keep your system nice and squeaky clean. You have a bulk rename utility. Let's see, Gparted is installed for you as well as a grub customizer. It has a uh, really nice grub menu when you boot up so it's, it's a uh, customized for Makulu. 
Let's see, live installer, you can control your login window from system settings. Sensor viewer, again, you got the software manager and Synaptic. So yeah, my overall experience with Makulu has been a positive one. Um, I really think it needs some retheming, <laughs> that's, but that's just a matter of personal preference. And that's the good thing about Linux. If you don't like the way something looks, you can change it. So I do recommend Makulu. I do think that it would be appropriate for a new user. It's easy to navigate. Uh, maybe if it's a new user that's wanting to step out of the comfort zone of Ubuntu or Ubuntu-based distributions, Makulu would make a nice, safe choice. And being that it's based on Debian, with this rolling release cycle, you'll know it'll always be up to date. Well, thank you for joining me again for another episode of Run Level Zero. Uh, I want to get moving on a few others now that I'm feeling a little bit better. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, or comment. Uh, if there's anything you want to see reviewed, any tutorials you would like done, please leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get to them. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to be with you again soon.